Rish HaMishnayis of the Rambam at the end of Masech Tamakis. <clears throat> Starts with a very famous statement. We say this all the time. In Pirkei Oros. Rabbi Hananya ben Akash Omer. Rotz HaKodesh Baruch Hu L'Zakos Yisrael. Lachain here Balahem Torah Mitzvah. The Mishnah says that why did the Almighty want to give us so many mitzvahs, 613 mitzvahs, why didn't he give us just a few? Because he wanted to give us a reward. So the Rambam explains. Mikri <clears throat> Amuna, one of the foundations of our belief. If a person, other means a man or a woman, would do the, a mitzvah of one of the 613 mitzvahs, let me just one mitzvah of the 613 mitzvahs. How much, Rabbi? means properly. Ukahogen. In other words, if a person would do one of the 613 mitzvahs properly, then he would not include with it. In other words, you're going to have the kavana, the direction of doing the mitzvah, but you should add to it a kavana, an intention of the world in it, or any other. You should do this mitzvah for the purpose of the mitzvah from love. And if you'll do one mitzvah, one mitzvah, of the 613 mitzvahs, but you will do it without any other thought, but doing it with, we can only do it with love as it was dedicated and supposed to be done, <clears throat> you will then be rewarded to the next world. In other words, <clears throat> there's 613 mitzvahs. So if the Torah only had one mitzvah, says so you did it <clears throat> right, good. If you didn't do it right, you blew it. You didn't succeed, but you have 613 mitzvahs. <clears throat> so maybe there's a chance that in your lifetime, <clears throat> you'll do one mitzvah properly, and you'll do it with avur, with the right kavonah l'shmuah and be'avur, without any other in in included thought, and then you'll get all my book. Be'al zemar rabbi chanina, ki ha-mitzvah is be'yoysom harbe, yet you shall yas odem b'chayim achmem, al mitka koinosom. Now we know the story about Kanania ben Tranyom was one of the Asara Rugi Malchus, one of the ten great rabbis that was killed by the Romans and he dedicated himself to Tashem. So they asked him, Ma Anil Khayal Maharawai. Will I be to the next world or not? He is one of our great Torah scholars, one of our great Torah luminaries, <clears throat> who studied Torah day and night, and did mitzvahs no end. <clears throat> and he dedicated his life to God, and the Romans killed him. And he had a problem, on what merit will he go to the next world? Veheshivo hameshu. You mean to tell me, what do you mean you worried if you're going to go? No, no act came to you. One time in my lifetime, those you must have given a lot of tzedakah, so everybody looks at it. Hananiah ben Trana, one of the ten great Torah luminaries. Yeah, I think one time I did a Maisa Tzedakah. 
בדר השלוינר. ואני אגע ביום רבו. ותוסד, השם חופי תלמן צדקו. וצדק יש ישראל. וואי להשם גילו יותר מצדקו. In order that you can become a tzaddik, and you can take one mitzvah and do it perfectly. <coughs> At first we start off, and it sounds very good, that there's 613 mitzvahs, so somewhere along the line, you do a mitzvah properly. But we see from the example that he gave, here's a great Torah, look at the Torah, he does mitzvahs, tefillin, the sikun, what doesn't he do? What doesn't he do? Tzedakahs. And he's worried, how am I going to get on a map on? Well, did you do anything? I think one time I did a mice stuff with this link. I think mice stuff. Once? Yes. You do one time in your lifetime, a mitzvah. And <coughs> Mishlein was, you get on a map. So it must be that in one way you have a greater selection. And if God gives you loads of opportunities to do it, But to do it is not so simple. Why? <clears throat> Because when you do it a mitzvah, the question is, what percentage is pure mitzvah? And what percentage is your egotistical, self-centered self being <clears throat> of your personality, yourself? Who knows what you're doing over there? And now I come to... <clears throat> They ask, what is the difference, Perik, hey, Yutez? What is the difference between the Talmidim of Amravino and the Talmidim of Bilam Arusha? And not only is a difference, but it states, whoever has these three things, and the Rabbeinu Yerne explains that it's not a, one is it's not a simon, or it's not a chalak, but it's a net. So if you have these three things, and since he had these three things, <clears throat> all the midos are involved, you are now a Talmud of Amravin. <clears throat> and, and three other things, you're a Talmud of Bilam, or Russia. And I mentioned Ayin Tova, Ruch Nomocha, Nefesh Shefela. Ayin Ro is the other one, Ruch Gavor, Nefesh Shechava. And they stayed a puzzle. For the tzaddikim, like it says in the end of the Masechta, Uktzin, that everybody who does mitzvahs, the Almighty has a lot of money, a lot of things. He'll give every Jewish man, Yantli, he'll give you a person, Yesh. That's, that's. 310 worlds. A person can hardly have one world. But 310 worlds, he'll get full of people. He'll be loads of worlds. <clears throat> Like there's loads of stars, loads of worlds. Worlds, three in the But for the Rishon, Vato Elohim Toridim Lever Shachas. You, the Almighty, the most powerful one, you will bring them, the wicked ones who are the Talmidim of Bilam Harasha, you will bring them to Gehenim, Lever Shachas to Gehenim, the lowest part of Gehenim. Anshik Domimu Miramor, the people who kill and who are false. Lo half the days will not be able to live. Bani and I will have be talking in you. <coughs> so if you look at the Tehillim and you see the Medrash there, it tells a very interesting story. <coughs> Everybody knows that Esau, the Russia, did the mitzvah kibud avay. He did it so well that I, that, that <coughs> Yaakov was afraid of Esau because he had this one mitzvah. And he knew if a person does one mitzvah, he gets all the mahamur. And here, Esau did the mitzvah kibbutz of Ain. What did he do? He wore a tuxedo. He did everything. And everybody says, wow, I wish I didn't reach the fingers or the toenails of, of, of Esau and his kibbutz of Ain. Now Esau died. His head is buried in Rasa Kabbalah, kibbutz of Ain. So we see that it is something. <clears throat> now he dies. And right away, the Malachim just take him into Olam Habo and sit him next to Yaakov. Esav Abasha. Why? Because he did the mitzvah of Kibbutz Did 
one mitzvah, like the Rambam says, like we brought down in Mestach the Magis, that if you do one mitzvah b'shleimus, you don't know how much. Shiyak base of the Russia who killed and murdered, what did he do? Right away, he, the Malochim, look at him, check his deeds, they saw the mitzvah keep it up, eh? Right away, the halacha is, the rule is, you do one mitzvah b'shleimus. Right away, you get the Chaim on the So Ace of HaRosha now, he's sitting, smiling, right in the Avram Yitzhak and Yaakov. Do you hear such a story like that? Imagine that. But what happened? They apply, all of a sudden, this Pusuk comes out from Tehillim, and it's Hashem says to the angels, Toridem Lever Shachas, take this bump and bring him to Gehenna, the lowest of Gehenna. Anchi Domu Mirmo. So, uh, in other words, the Malochim were fooled by Amravi, by, by uh, Esau. Everybody, he put up in one mitzvah. <clears throat> Bring them down. So Esau says, listen, huh, what did I do wrong? I did keep it up in. So, Hashem says, did you not say, as long as my father is alive, I will not kill Yaakov. When my father dies, I'll kill him. So he says, listen, I didn't say those words. That was in my heart. I didn't say those words. It was in my heart. That's why the Malachim, from the external point of view, they looked at his mitzvahs and looked pretty good, keep it up, eh? But Hashem, who is Boichain, Kloya Yisraelay, the Almighty who checks the heart and the intestines of the person. And we have to see that the mitzvah was done properly and perfectly with not, nothing in it of any other form or shape that's in it. <clears throat> he looked right, pierced right through. Because only Hashem could say, <clears throat> he did not do it perfectly. Down to Gehenna he goes. <clears throat> and that's what he did. <clears throat> right away, that refers to Esau. Anche Domamirmo. Right away, he brought him down again. <clears throat> so we see that <clears throat> we, if you can fool the Malachim, <clears throat> pretty good. <clears throat> You know? But you can't fool God. See, when you get to a mitzvah, it's you and God. God just pierces right through. And he doesn't need any machine to test out. It's all recorded, all computerized. It just comes right out. So therefore, it's an important thing for people <clears throat> to increase their quality of their mitzvahs. It's not sufficient to say, well, I'm a Bali Chuva. I'm doing good. Look how good I am. I'm doing better than I was before. So you're right. You made a quantum leap. You're now one of those from girls. Nobody can tell you them to you, FFB from, from birth and a Bali Chuva, no difference. <clears throat> you look the same, you act the same. In fact, you act more religious than they do. <clears throat> very nice. You do out of the way, very nice. But that's all wonderful. But you need to get your ticket for Olam Habu. <clears throat> How are you going to get your ticket for Olam Habu? It's good you make the quantum leap. <clears throat> and you're wonderful. <clears throat> and your husband's learning Torah. And your children are old. And you have Mesir Tash. And you get stuck. And you have no Sasarach. And you get up in the mornings. And what don't you do? <clears throat> Very nice. What I say, you don't do it. But did you do one mitzvah b'shalem? Proper kafanas? In the purity of the act? If Rachaninya ben Tradio, <coughs> who's a great Torah scholar, was thinking, he says, how do I get to Olam Habu? <coughs> he said, what, you came to one mitzvah? He sat back. Was he had a hobby? And maybe yes. He said, yeah, that's right. When I was newly married, <coughs> I went to see one of the, the Lehman brothers, <coughs> was, my, was the woman, the, the sister Lehman brothers, <coughs> was a friend of my mother's. <coughs> so, what she tells us. The house is full of plaques and plaques of giving donations to this hospital and that hospital. She's telling us what her good deed was. You should tell me. What don't they give? They're balanced up. Tax the deductible.
abilities, who knows what they got. But <clears throat> see, one time, it was an ass, someone was going to jump off the, <clears throat> jump off the hospital, and I saved the person from jumping. That's all. They look back, what did they do? The money they gave, the stuff is they gave, <clears throat> they know it's a fake out. It's one deal. She thought, I don't know, she got all of my money, I don't know. It's not so simple. It's not so See, if we have to work and try, try again. Try one time, try two times, try three times. That's why we have bad muscles and you get together. In order to purify your acts that maybe one day you'll be so <coughs> to do a mitzvah and Michelin. Tell the story of Chavetz Chaim. <coughs> one day he, he borrowed money from somebody and he wanted to pay the person back. He was dancing. Why are you dancing? Look at him because you're so happy. Maybe he'll do the mitzvah for years back home. He'll be able to pay back his debt. The simple behavior. Because nobody likes to pay back debt. And, uh, you want to keep the money. You need the money. Things are hard. To pay back debt. Look at the man. He had a chance of his lifetime. He kind of appears back home. He usually never had home. He lived. Whatever he had, he had money. He lived. <coughs> he had a home. And I was going to make kind of He started to dance and sing. And <coughs> he's going to make kind of it. A free is back home. To get that, the joy, the happiness, and to do the mitzvah as much as the as he can, maybe that'll be the mitzvah. They don't get to go to all of my book. Who knows which mitzvah? It's not so simple. It says in this week's Sedra, I told us, I said this at the Yishuv, <coughs> that Yitzchak and Rifa had no children. Hashem was waiting for their tefillahs. So, on one side, Yitzchak prayed, on the other side, Rifka prayed. It was more than praying, because instead of the word Yitpaleo or Tzaka, those are words of prayer, it has the word Vayetar. Yet has a very strong form of prayer. Vayetar harbay vehiftzir mitfila. It's a very strongest type of prayer. So here they are, they both pray. <coughs> Hashem puts them in circumstances. As we said, the formula was that that something that you need, you need, and you you need, and it's hechrach. You must get it. And only Hashem <coughs> is the one that can give it to you. So that's called cool. prayer. So Hashem made it. It's something that really needed and wanted. <coughs> so Hashem answered the prayers, it says. Hashem. And Hashem listened to the prayer of him. Love is him, but not her. How they both pray. So Rashi explained. Ain Doma Tfila Sadik Ben Sadik, the Tfila Sadik Ben Rashi. There's a difference. Put everything equal. <clears throat> the prayer of Tzadik Ben Sadik is greater than the prayer of Tzadik Ben Rashi. In other words, <clears throat> although Rivka came from a loved one, and <clears throat> normally somebody is in an environment of arayos, crooks and gangsters, who knows what. And everybody says, and what do you expect from me? I was born in a poor family, divorced family, <clears throat> a terrible environment. I lived in this slum area. Everybody was doing terrible things. <clears throat> and I, uh, you know, to pull out of that environment of love and the Rami and, and uh, that environment is a tremendous strength of a tremendous leap to reach the Madreya called the Tzaddik. She was at Tzadikis. <coughs> she was rewarded to the degree where she was able to marry, be Zohar, to marry at Tzadik and Tzadik. <coughs> to marry Yitzchak, and to, from her should come Am Yisrael. It's a tremendous schuss. She must be in a tremendous Tzadikis. No shadow about it. And he had that tremendously. Also, Yitzchak on his side, 
tzaddik and tzaddik. The odds are that even though your father's a tzaddik, doesn't mean the kid will be a tzaddik. So it's again, it means that the child needs a tremendous leap himself to be a tzaddik and tzaddik. But still, when you put the two together, <clears throat> and they're both tremendous giants, still put way the two, tzaddik and tzaddik, win. And his prayers are right. <clears throat> so therefore, for those who are Bali Cubans, who are not tzaddik and tzaddik, they have to know, they have to work quite hard in prayer. They think, you think, everything's in your pocket, you're ready about Jew. And everything's already solved. And you're ready now from, from birth. And you wear black stockings and long sleeves already, and wear black hats and slip into Panovich, and there's no difference between you and them. When it comes to the tefillahs, you'll find out that there's a difference. The mice and the, uh, who knows what, uh, and the men uh, separate. I don't hear that tefillah, tzaddik, men tzaddik. And it's tefillah, tzaddik, men tzaddik. It doesn't work. Uh, the other person who prays it was a tzaddik and tzaddik's prayers. Uh, more There's a lot more work to do. It's not simple. <coughs> so the Tartan in the here brings <coughs> a machlekes between the Bach and the Marshal on one side and the Taz on the other. When you go to hire a chazan in the show, the Davin for Rosh Hashanah, so you want a proper chazan, who represented Sibur at his tefillahs with Mokubo. So naturally, one of the qualities would be, you see from here, in Gabe, the no say the topic of tefillah, we see Tzadik ben Tzadik is a quality that the prayer is heard above Tzadik ben Hashem. So therefore, <clears throat> they passed it, that look for a Tzadik ben Tzadik to Davin for Nehmer, rather than somebody who's not a Tzadik, even though he has other qualities that the Tzadik ben Tzadik doesn't have. It's how you know those qualities will add in the acceptance of the prayer. There's definitely a clear, clear statement. Tzadik and Tzadik will help in feel. <clears throat> the Taz says not so. <clears throat> Just not. Rachamana li boy. The Almighty wants your heart. So the main thought is the heart. She needs someone to bow. He does. Who has a heart? Who cares? Not a good voice. Just the prayer. The words, I mean, but you gotta have Rahmanli, we want the heart in the prayer. Now the Torah to me wants to bring a raya. <clears throat> this is what the Taz says. And the Torah to me wants to bring a raya to the Taz. It says, Kumar Tainis, Chok Pei, Om Pei. Maise Rabbi Loza, Shirat Lachimah Pei, Volodar Du Bishon. There was a time among the Jewish people where there was no Bishon, no rain. So Rabbi Lezer, one of our great Talmudic scholars, <clears throat> great tzaddikim, gets in front of the table and he prays for rain and no rain. <clears throat> so then, next one on mine, Rabbi Akiva went, we are at Bishonim and rain came. So, two stories happen. One story is, <clears throat> so the wife Rabbi Lezer, what's happening over here? I thought you were a tzaddik, a tzaddik. You have a tremendous, I'll come in, your prayers worked, and this Rabbi Akiva, who's a tzaddik ben Russia, he's even a gear, who knows what, <coughs> came along, his prayers are heard, well, you're not bigger than him. So he answered, because uh, my tefillahs are like a mel a sar to a king, and his is from a, like a slave to a master, or a father to a son. <coughs> That's not the chazal. Here's a different chazal. For you, Moran, Rabbon, al koide shabalazim. Shalom, in Where's the cover? Okay, maybe it's great. But where's the cover? I tell you. <clears throat> the embarrassment. What happened over here? So you're a basco. A basco came from the heaven and said, Loy mitnation is there, Rabbi Akiva, God only is there. They're not one is bigger than the other. Stop it, Rabbi Akiva. Elo mitnation is there, Rabbi Akiva, Mavi Ami Dosa. Because Rabbi Akiva is Mavi Ami Dosa. I Rabbi Akiva's Ben Gerim. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe say a Ben Gerim is zero. What he wants to say, <clears throat> it's Tzadik Ben Russia. <clears throat> and this is a Tzadik Ben Tzadik. Why? Because it's Marvin Midaisa. So he have a Raya. <clears throat> that Marvin Midaisa is a quality greater than Tzadik Ben Tzadik. <clears throat> a 
but you like the minorite to the rakats. <coughs> but since Rahman Ali Baboy, since the Almighty wants the heart, and therefore Midos Tawas in general <coughs> will be a factor in prayer against somebody who is <coughs> about it, the Mephoshim explained why then they both had a prayer. If we knew the fact of Tzadik and Tzadik. <coughs> so the answer is that <coughs> the Mephoshim explained that yeah, Yaakov, y- Yitzchak was afraid that maybe, just like his mother, Hashem changed the name from Sarai to Sara, maybe Hashem will change Rebbe his name. <coughs> so therefore, if you're going to pray, and he wanted to also make a tikkun, what Amavino did, because uh, Sara had a complaint, listen, how come you didn't include me in your prayer that I should be the one that you'll, you'll since God gave you a bracha, you'll have a child, I should be the one, the wife, and not my maid servant to have the child. So therefore, she wanted to be included in the prayer, and he wanted to make that tikkun for his, what Abravino did not do for Sarah. <clears throat> and also the rule is that maybe he was afraid that it's not her name. So when you pray for somebody, and they're not in front of you, you have to mention the name. If the first one's in front of you, you don't have to mention the name. And maybe the name won't be the right name. So therefore, Sarah and Rivka had to be in front of, <coughs> in front of uh, Yitzchak, that he should pray for her. And surely the sick person has to pray for themselves. I mean, you can't pray a stranger pray and a person doesn't pray. <coughs> and they say that Yitzchak and Rivka Gematria is tefillah. It's included in Klai Yisrael and the Prat. They explain all kinds of answers. This is the Shlosh says, the Chassam Seifa, all the Mephosh. <coughs> but what do we see from here? That, first of all, <coughs> now we have to know that you feel that God loves everybody, but you don't have the quality of your Baal and Tzadik and Tzadik. So you want to outdo it, <coughs> I still have a chance to make another quantum leap and my Rami Day cells to change your ego. And if you don't, don't be surprised why your tears are not more common, why your tears aren't accepted. 
But your brain, very nice. But so what? You know, it's not even time. You know? But look what I'm doing. Very nice. Who says your mitzvahs are pure? That will produce all of my love. You want to get rewards for your mitzvahs too? <clears throat> you got to do it pure. Elamai, you want to have a quality? Make another quantum leap. And my heart means If you look at life, <clears throat> and you look at life, what's happening in life, and you ask yourself, where's the justice? How come I do X, and, and the other one, I do good deeds, and look what happens. The other person does bad things, and look what happens, he gets the rewards. Where's the justice? What it's all about? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> King Solomon in Kehelis makes an interesting statement. I hate life. <clears throat> I hate life. It doesn't add up logically. <clears throat> There's a lot of contradictions, a lot of problems. What's happening? So there's three examples <clears throat> that the Medrash and Kehelis bring down. Imik <clears throat> Natron from Jew. Somebody had the nerve, some Jew had the nerve to write a letter to the king. He said, listen, why are you making a gazer against the Jews? I mean, against the Jews. <clears throat> is it because they are circumcised and you're not circumcised? <clears throat> so the the Yishmael and Gareth also are circumcised. So we have to why do Jews? We should say because they keep the Shabbos. <clears throat> so the Kutim also keep the Shabbos. Go after them. Why are you Jews? Must be, exclude the fact that it must be hate the Jews. So God and the Jews are going to pay you back. Cross of elimination. <laughs> <clears throat> Tell them right now. So Gozer Adrianus, the whole day of it came, the Farsing, Garmes, the Malko, the Malko boy eating like meal. So the Hanrat got nervous. He said, Any, I demand, Xera, that the one who did this should show his face to the king, and the king wants to tell him a word. One guy came and said, This is me. Oma Amirin Reshe, he said, Cut off his head. <laughs> oh, oh, but before he cut it, he says, Loma, Amarti, why did you really write it? <laughs> oh, Malay, I'll tell you what. The art, Pnei Lahu Garba Min Plas Nesisin Bishon. Because by killing me, you'll save me from three terrible, terrible things. <clears throat> oh, Malay, what are these three terrible things? If I kill you, you're gonna, I'm going to save you from. <laughs> oh, Malay. So I get up every day in the morning at night and I don't even have enough food to give to myself, to my wife and my children. I got a terrible idea. So if I die, I get rid of my problem. Every day he gets up in the morning, goes to work. He can't produce for his himself. He can't produce for his wife or for his children. He just... <clears throat> That's it. They just can't produce. There's many I get. I am just saving from these three problems. I get rid of it already. Ah, my God. Since I see he's living a terrible life, ah, let him live, boy. Let him rot. Let him kill the guy. We're going to hurt him. Let him live his life. Upon it is called Sonesia Sakai. This is the guy that I hate life. Why do you hate life? Because he's incapacitated. He's a man. Frustrating 
Mice in the garden I thought, show you all milk call your mice hashon. It was a garden, a guy that eats a lot of food, and he would work all the, the days of the year. Sheish yom in Maise, six days of the, of, of the creation, was six days of Shabbos. Lohoi lo ma yoicham. Guy would work hard, so he would, he would eat up, and so every day he made money, he would eat it up. Came Shabbos, he had no food. This is going on and going on. So what did he do? It was really terrible. It's also, <clears throat> what did he do? Obama, this ate the kli korayis shalom. He just had these beautiful garments he had. Vol or shagar, went on top of the house, but not full of mates. He just jumped over the children. Vol or nashay, 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 vol Shishin Chama Veshuke Veloy Chama Elohim. Shmuel Hoshia, Hoshia, he appointed judges. Now the essence of life is judges. The essence of the community is judges. He appointed these judges to bring justice in the world. And everybody told him, listen, your judges are drinking, are living a good day. They're drinking wine in the, in the marketplace. What do you mean? You think you're bringing justice to the world? You're already having society is working right. <clears throat> Your judges, as you think of the great leadership and the great, great justice they're giving in the world, these guys are drunks. And they do it in public. You got the wrong. Chad Zaman, Nofek, Rashkar, Daine, Shosan, Chama, Beshuk. He went out there and he caught him there. That's, that's right. So there, at the end of the Pusik says that he, he saw life is bad and Chaim is bad. But he, Koral Mashe, Shanesi, and Yesa Chaim. But Domal Chaim, Bishlam, and the and the Chedusha uh, Haradal says that <clears throat> he felt terrible about it. And he said, Nesia Sachayim, he saw the bad in the world, but he lived a ripe life anyway. <clears throat> so Rav Hamuna defines it. Ahi Adam Lefesh Chayim, Asu Mokhuran Ebif Neatzmah. The Almighty made somehow a script in man that he has catch-22 all the time. It's like in a circle. Dein lo lai, if he doesn't have yigiyah lo ochil. No, the man doesn't have work. He doesn't get food. He works, he has food. <clears throat> it's just like a catch there. That if you look at life in the regular way, it doesn't add up. <clears throat> People, nobody has everything in life. <clears throat> one has children, one has money, one has looks, one has beauty, one has uh, who knows what. Nobody gets everything in the world. And it doesn't add up. I work hard, whereas this, this one didn't work and he gets everything. So what, the way that justice was at all, and you work hard and, 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 and you lose it, who knows what happens in the world as well. It doesn't add up exactly. You see, look at it and say, <clears throat> if you look at life and the end of life, or the purpose of life is the living of life, the enjoyment of life, <clears throat> so it comes out at the end. It doesn't add up right. It doesn't come to get, bring the right justice, everything there. But if the person realizes it, that the purpose of life is not life itself, <clears throat> the purpose of life is Jesus <laughs> and Torah <clears throat> and Olam Habu. So then when he does in Yerush Shammai, so then what he does, he doesn't understand why six million Jews, <clears throat> why uh, Jews are kicked out of Eretz Israel, why, uh, why this and why that. Why the Dor HaMidbor, who saw the Almighty, the grace of God, didn't get Olam Habu. What? <clears throat> what happened? What's it all about? So then the person has to answer and say, I have to do my mitzvahs. I have to do my job. And if I happen a mitzvah b'shleimus, I do one mitzvah b'shleimus, I do my mitzvahs, I do my learning Torah. I can't get involved in the way, if I look at the way of the world and try to add it up and subtract and check with others and check my life with others and make a balance sheet to see 
justice, no justice, you'll come out with a heartache. You can never solve the problem. But if you realize there's a spiritual world, and there's thing called mitzvahs, this thing is Yerid Shamayim, there's such a thing as learning Torah, so you chop a little more mitzvah, and you chop a little more Torah learning, and you chop a little more this. And in the end you'll have that, because that's what it's about. I, the hegemon of the world, and to see you'll get a sickness, you'll hate life. You don't understand the light. You come bitter. You come bitter to the world. I just heard a case. <coughs> a father has two sons. <coughs> raises them up. They don't turn out right. So the father, now is cutting them out of the will. He gives the kids, cuts them out of the will, and uh, and gives his money to uh, some guy ship girl. <coughs> they give the dollars. The answer is, I understand, because he hates life. He had these kids, and what does he do? He can't stand them. So he can't face it. So he jogs half the day. And the other half the day, he, he just wants to get rid of it. He, he, he just can't handle it. 